There we go, fish number one. That was it. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I've been on a flex, flex, flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared like bone crush. Boy, I got God, don't fear none. Checking it. What is up y'all? Welcome back to the channel today. It's myself and Ryan Rigged info down in the description We are gonna be hitting y'all with some of the first video of the new Guggen Squad green and gold series rods Man, you guys can check these out link in the description. They're on sale. Uh, they might even be sold out But uh, go ahead and check at Carl's bait and tackle you guys what we've got going on is a 1v1 challenge for y'all We're gonna put two hours on the clock Okay, and we're gonna each get a shot at casting the green and the gold rod and reel combos we got here and see who can catch the most fish in that amount of time. Uh, there's a lot at stake. Yeah, we Loser. got some Starbucks at stake, right? Loser has got to buy Starbucks, and if you guys know anything about Starbucks, you can rack up like a $50 tab on, what, three drinks? So, uh, yeah, <laughs> it should be fun. We're gonna throw the spinning combo, probably toss around some Sankos, show it in its best light, where we've got the Twitch Rod, the Gold Series Twitch Rod. We're gonna be throwing some soft plastic jerk baits just because uh, we've got this beautiful scenic pond out here in Plano, Texas behind us that we're gonna be fishing, and I don't think a standard jerk bait is gonna do too well. Lots of grass in this place, so we're going with the weedless setup. We're gonna see what we can't put together. Let's go ahead and start the timer and have at it, man. You ready? Let's get to it, bro. I'm excited. All right. All right, guys, so like we said, we're gonna switch off after the first hour, so I'm gonna set an hour time limit. First things first, though, we gotta see who's throwing what. So, uh, rock, paper, scissors. Let's do it. Best two out of three. Winner picks what they wanna roll with. Let's go. Rock, rock paper, scissors, shoot. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yeah. Okay, all right, that's one, that's one, that's one. One, one step closer to Getting more chicken. excited about the rock, paper, scissors. One step closer to picking their combo. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Right, oh! Right, it's a tie game. Okay, it's tie a tied ball game, y'all. Whoever wins gets to pick what they got. Here we go. <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay, okay. So, so I get to pick which one I want to start with, y'all, and I think I'm gonna go with. I'm just anxious to throw the gold series, to be honest, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna rock the twitch for a second. We haven't fished this yet, so we don't know what's hidden. But I'm gonna grab me a pack of zooms. You get them Googans. And those are a five, so you can switch right off the bat. Yeah, I would say. Going. To get more bites if you downsize a little bit guys, it's always promising especially in a little pond setting like this oh, All right, we're setting an hour-long timer right now sick. Okay, you re-rig. I'm gonna get the fish and see ya All right, here we go guys. Like I said a lot of grass So I'm gonna expose this hook in the body of the soft plastic jerk bait. Oh first cast I wonder if I've got these settings right for this fluke right here Probably probably a little loose to be honest. Don't get too hasty man start off with the backlash. That'd be good This is on two. Okay, it could get sketchy. Let's just see what happens. Golly, the tip is perfect for this thing. Super accurate. Hit him with the pop, pop, pop. Pop, 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 pause. That's what this twitch rod's all about, man. All right, all right. Wacky rigs on. Weston's already out there. I'm gonna walk a little bit further down and see what uh, we can get going. I forgot my polarized glasses. I gotta get back to the truck, dude. Ryan's got the upper hand, man. I forgot the glasses in the truck. All right. Yeah, man, so six, nine, medium with a moderate tip. Perfect for the jerk baits here. Trying to give it a good pause. Bunch of bluegill, man. So here's my strategy. Ryan went right, so I'm going left. I see a bunch of grass. They're gonna be hanging out right here. I bet you. Some just bit it. Probably, probably bluegill. First bite. Woo! This thing works so well. Nice little drop off right here too. Green pumpkin lunker log. Something's on it. Something's on it. There we go. Woo! That's how we do it, baby. No way, dude. What is that, five minutes in? <laughs> Ryan's already got one on the lunker log. Not cool, man. One zero. All right, let's see if we get this sticky out. There we go. Sticky lunker log out. There we go, fish number one. I knew it. I knew we were gonna find him there. Man, that felt good. You could just feel every little tap. Might be a Sanko type of day, man. Bluebird skies, no wind. He probably has the upper hand, but we're gonna switch in an hour, so it might come down to how many I can get on that thing after we make the switch. No doubts in this fluke, though. 
I got a gold series, so I'm super, super excited after. Oh, oh, bro, it broke me off. No doubt, <laughs> that'd be bad. <laughs> Should have checked your line after that first catch, Ryan. <laughs> Looks like the leader got chewed up after that first fish. He didn't retie and then boom, he just got snapped off. <laughs> that's good and bad. That's good because we know where they're at, but that's bad because... Just lost another one. Oh, what kind of fish are in there? Uh, largemouth bass. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah, a lot of fun. Thank you. You guys have a great evening. Thank you. Got him. Got him. One to one, baby. Get up here. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Oh, man. There we go. Got him on the flute. I saw him eat it way out there. Good thing I grabbed those glasses. I literally set the hook. I didn't feel anything. I just saw it disappear. All right, bud. Thanks for playing. First fish of the day for me. It's one to one. Yes. Literally eight minutes in. We are crushing it right now. The bite is on. Got him. That's two. Bruh. <laughs> if I wouldn't have broke off. Oh, yeah. Weston's up. Oh my gosh, there we go, that's two. Yes, see you bud. I think I might have found a school out deep. Oh, a big, a big, he's chasing it. I see him, he's looking at it. There's two around. There's two, he's going in, he's going in. He's gonna eat it. Oh my gosh, they're both right here. All right, so I'll talk about this rod real quick while I got the worm out there and just let it sit. So, got the little logo down here on the bottom, logo here, thumbprint right there. It is like a uh, foam cork mixture. It's really, really comfortable in the hands. And right here when you're casting on the bottom, and it's got the uh, measuring tape along the side. If you look right here, it'll actually tell you what type of pole it is. It is the finesse pole. And uh, tell you it's different types of reaction, twitch, muscle, finesse. So it's not the strongest, it's, it's mostly for finessing. Uh, twitchy motions and uh, just kind of lets you know it's like a slower to a medium uh, action. All little cool things about this pole. It is a two-piece. Changes colors once you get to the tip. Really, really neat. So hyped about it. And that's because this is just the green version. I know the gold version is a little bit different. It's made of a different blank. So this is like a 20 ton blank, I believe. And the other one is a 40. So you get a lot more uh, strength out of it, but it's supposed to be a lot lighter too. So Really excited to try that as well. Kind of trying to beat him over there. He's got two, so. When you don't fish at 4.15, they don't feed. They only do it in the morning or in the sunset. So now, good luck. Yeah, that's why it's kind of a competition right now to see who can actually catch them. All right guys, so while I'm a fish ahead, I feel like I can relax a little bit, tell you about my tactics here. I'm kind of casting along the bank first and then I'm gonna fan out. The reason is because I can walk over here after I've kind of covered the bank line and identified maybe there's not any fish that are going to hit. So if I were to just walk over there first and start casting out, I probably could spook some along the bank. I want to get my opportunity to catch those fish first. Then I'm going to walk it down a little bit. I'm trying to cast as close to the edges of all this grass as possible. The bats are usually there waiting to ambush. We're closing in on 20 minutes into the first hour, and all I got to say is this rod is absolutely sick. Cast like a dream, and the thing about a jerk bait is it's a year-round bait. So you can get away with the hard plastics or like what we're going with, a weedless soft plastic option year-round, and this rod is going to accommodate, man. Such amazing sensitivity, super light feeling in your hand. I mean, and the grip is so sick. Like you wanna talk about just the traditional cork look and feel paired with that gold flake is, it's got the looks to match the performance is what I'm trying to say. Let's see if we can get on fish number three. we go fish number two wasn't gonna lose another one that looks like Ryan's second one okay we're tied up I was about I was literally about to say guys okay, we got another 15 minutes you have a good one got him. 
No! 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 That would have been three for me. This thing's probably toast. I set that hook so, oh my gosh. Fish just whipped on it. I saw it clear as day. Set the hook and missed them. I got the goods right here. So if you guys want to see how I rigged this, I have the, uh, the belly of the bait towards the hook. I just go through the nose. You're just straight up Texas rigging it essentially. Straight up the nose, slide it all the way to the top. Once it gets to the top, you give it that 180. You twist it on the hook and you push that nose up onto that little ledge. Now that nose isn't going to get pulled down. It's locked in right there unless you really hammer a hook set like I just did. Then you look and see where that hook's gonna line up with the top of the body, huh? And you just kind of give it a little bend. You push the hook up right in that spot, puncture it in the center of the back, and then that hook is exposed, right? So the, so the, the flute could fall down a little bit and you could get caught on some grass. Well, here's what you do. You push the plastic forwards a little bit. You almost stretch it, right? And then you bring it back with that hook just exposed is what you call it into the body just ever so slightly so now you won't get caught on that grass as you're popping through it but when the bass go to bite it they bite down on this and you set that hook and that's how you catch them a couple fluke tips in today's video okay i gotta try and catch that one got him fish number three biggest one of the day for me i think yes oh man here we go that's three we're back in the lead but look at that man nothing more fun than some urban bass look at this setting just absolutely sick third fish for me let's go That's three or more for him, I don't even know. But that's insane guys, luckily my back camera was recording, but I just pulled this solid one out, number three of the day. So, let's get him back in the water. Timer just went off y'all, first hour complete. We about to make the switch, Ryan's across the pond. Thank goodness man, cause he was getting on a little Sanko bite over there. Oh. Okay, halftime recap, it's literally, how many you got? Three, dude. Literally, it's three to three. I was curious if maybe I missed him catch one or something, and he had like four or five on me. But uh, it's looking like the fluke and the Sanko are producing. We're going to go ahead and halftime report right here, get back in the water, switch in the combos, and see who's going to come out on top. And then things are really going to get lively with a little caffeine at the end. I was telling the camera this is going to be a lot of fun because I wanted to try to get a head advantage because I'm left-handed. So, yeah, so the thing is, I have a, I have a left-handed baitcaster if you want to use it. I'm just gonna risk it. Ryan's one cast ahead, y'all. We're starting round two. Well, I shouldn't say round two. We're starting the second half right now. 59 minutes, 56 seconds. The spinning combo's all mine, boys. Let's get them. So funny, this almost feels more stout. This is a longer rod. This is a seven foot right here. Also, I can really fling this worm out here on the seven footer. Okay, easy money. Oh man, there's so many fish up here. <laughs> all right, let's try to get a real cast out of this. Uh oh, I can't tell if I got hit. Oh, I can't set the hook on it. I didn't know how to. <laughs> yes, I can see I get smoked. I saw him come out and hit it too. It was like a one and a half. I just didn't know what to do to set the hook. I was like, oh man, I, oh. <laughs> oh, I lost a good one right there. Oh, he's right there. No. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know how to use it. I don't know how to use it. I don't know how to use it. Dang man, four to three. And that happened in that happened in four minutes. <laughs> so was, it's so weird fishing a right-handed pole, not being used to it. I'm just like, eh. all right, y'all. We're over ten minutes in, and I can't seem to catch anything off this ledge. So I am going to make a move. But the rod is feeling good. I can cast this thing like just as far as the fluke or farther with this light. I think uh, Ryan had an exo stick on here this is probably like a five inch uh, stick bait and uh, they're hitting it for him so i'm not necessarily going to retie right off the bat uh, one more thing is this is a two-piece rod y'all so if you need a spinning stick that is travel friendly this is your guy in other words oh yeah yeah catch and release i'm actually testing out these uh new poles cool. so so far so good i got um four for the day i've lost three so oh Yep, there's another one. There's a, that's a good one. Oh yeah, that's a good one too. 
Oh yeah. That's a bass. That's a two pound, maybe three pound bass. That's the biggest one I've gotten all day. Dude, that's the biggest one for sure. That's two pounds easy. That's what I say. Dude. What? Two pounder on the fluke. Oh my Didn't gosh. Didn't even move it. Like cast in it. It just hit it right away. I was talking to this guy. <laughs> yeah. Let's measure him. There we go. All right, man. 15. Woo! That's a key. Healthy 15 inch right out of the little urban pond. All right. So sick, dude. Let's get him back in the water. And, uh, awesome. And uh, yeah, I can't be helping you out anymore. <laughs> I'm taking time away from fishing with the whole camera duty. Time check, 20 minutes into the second half, and this worm ain't getting too many hits, man. I'm so shocked. I mean, I am working this thing painfully slow. Man, it has been so slow the second half. We have been like running and gunning, literally 10 minutes left. It's five to three. Things are not looking good for me on the spinning combo, y'all. This is just about it. Two and a half minutes left. Things are not looking good. I need like one per minute average. Dude, no doubt. The green is comfortable with the foam. The foam is nice. Not even 50 seconds left. I'm gonna have to go back to back to pull off this win. There's almost no way. There it goes, timer done. Dude, zero catches on finesse in an hour. Who does this? What happened? No way. All right, man, over here at Starbucks Reserve to close things out. We're trying out this little flight. It was on me, of course, because I sucked it up in today's challenge. Y'all saw Ryan took the dub on this one. Uh, I think it was uh, five to three. Well, two and three, so five total. Five total. Three for me. Five for you. Dude, five to three. He crushed me ahead. Everybody in their Camaro is in Plano on a Saturday, man. Thank you guys so much for watching until the end. By the way, if you want to grab some Guggenrods for yourself, check the link down in the description. We'll catch you guys on the next episode. Peace out.